I paint uh, feng shui paintings. And what that really means is that um, feng shui is based off of harmony with elements in your home. Um, there, are, there are elements in feng shui, earth, water, fire. So these are the things that your home, if they are in balance, your home is in balance. Now, it's not always conducive for us to put a plant in a certain space or to put, um, uh, you know, a symbol of fire in a certain place. And sometimes people don't want it. What feng shui art does is I paint those symbols and those elements and those colors in my paintings. So if somebody is lacking passion in a relationship, that means they're basically lacking fire. And fire is symbolized by red and a triangle. So I would paint those in my paintings. And uh, just having that painting around you, just seeing it around in your um, environment on day-to-day -day basis, does the same thing as a real fire element in the same room. So that's the beauty of it. And a painting can incorporate all the elements at the same time. It doesn't have to be just one element. This particular painting I painted... Um, this is a Ganesha actually, and I painted for um, the growth and harmony in the house. Uh, so it has the colors of uh, growth, of fame and reputation, of harmony, of uh, balance. And so this is more of a very uh, generic uh, feng shui painting, but feng shui paintings can be really specific, like you want your career to go ahead or you really want your kids to prosper. So those can be more specific. Or health, you know, that can be way more specific. Or what do you want um, from feng shui when it comes to health? Are you, uh, do you have an ailing, um, an ailment? Do you have uh, a cough and cold or on a regular basis that you want to get rid of? Do your kids always keep falling sick? So there can be different ways that you could incorporate that in, in colors and in shapes and put it around you.